What's up everybody? Welcome to Tokyo and welcome to the first day of Tokyo Auto Salon 2017. We took off from Naha Airport in Okinawa at around 8.15 this morning. It was about a two and a half hour flight. We passed by Mount Fuji. That was really cool to see. And then we landed at Narita International Airport at around 10.40 this morning. And boy was it cold when we got off the plane. It's about 42 degrees here, so that's a pretty big change from Okinawa. At the airport, we picked up our rental car, our Suzuki Swift. On our drive down from Narita to Tokyo, I saw a couple cool cars. I saw a yellow STI and also a Honda step wagon, that was pretty funny to see. Once we got down here, we parked the car, got some lunch, walked around a little bit, saw a couple other cool cars, a 350Z, an R34. So I'm already beyond excited and I can't wait to see what's at Tokyo Auto Salon. So let's head over that way now. We're out here at Tokyo Auto Salon now in the parking lot and I'm gonna have to video the parking lot because it's incredible. S2000, R33, beautiful Integra Type R, G37, three hundred and fifty Z. It is absolutely no chill out here. Everything is awesome. Beautiful R32 GTR and an S14, FDRX7, STI back there, RX8, Toyota 86. I've always heard the parking lot here is just as good as the show and so far it's not a letdown at all. Another STI. Some Honda love for you Civic boys. Older Porsche, S15, Porsche Panamera. 510 Matte black Porsche Beautiful S14 And check this out, check this Velside FDRX7 out Not even in the show, just the parking lot, this is crazy Beautiful R35 with some kind of parking boot on it. There's literally everything out here from Civics to Lamborghinis to McLarens. Tomorrow we're gonna have a little bit more time. This is Friday right now and the show is limited access and only limited hours. So tomorrow when we have some more time, we'll definitely come out here and explore the parking lot a little bit more. But right now we're gonna go get in line for the show. Welcome to Tokyo Auto Salon 2017. Absolutely insane. Pikachu Lamborghini. I'm gonna head over here to the work wheels booth. So many wheels on display. VIP Toyota Crown Majesta. Got the Workmeisters. Carbon fiber. 
racing booth, now we're at the Toyota racing booth. Toyota Yaris, fully decked out, some old school Celicas. The Celica, they really got put on the map for rally racing. <laughs> The Toyota 86. I if this is a new color or if it's maybe a Japan only color because I haven't seen this back in the States. Solar orange is the color. The Subaru booth. Let's go check this out. The Leborg STI Sport. ま、ね、その車に乗ってるわけじゃないので、ナートも米と静かかもしれないですが、ま、ピンカーだと思うんで。ま、それに答えるためにやっぱ僕たちも全力で、ま、それに答えるために僕たちも。レゼントに。ディ
truck action over here on the side. Four. Can't forget the Mustang. GT3 RS over here. So sick. We just got finished up taking a look at halls seven and eight. We're gonna head over here to four, five, and six. See what's going on over this way. I know there's some of you out there that love the Toyota Haya, so let's take a look at these. This one with the scooter in the back. And the bride racing seat. in this fishing one. Honda booth and I am excited to see some of that. 
the new NSX. And the NSX GT car. New NSX is everywhere. Mason's right over there getting in line to sit in it. Mason in the race car. Honda Goods shop. We're gonna have to take a look in here for sure. Honda shirts, Honda hats, Mugen hats, Type R Integras. I have to get out of that Honda shop before I spend all the money I have. The new Honda Civic Type R. Absolutely gorgeous car. They've really been growing on me a lot in the last year. And that color is incredible. This Mugen Honda S660 looks awesome. Dunlop tires. Mazda Miata. The old 240Z. And you can't pass up an R8. Insane looking RX-7 over here at the Nats tent. This Dodge Daytona look-alike is actually a Toyota Soarer. This one fooled me. I didn't know it was a kit car. This is actually a Suzuki Cappuccino. Right there. Went from a Suzuki Cappuccino to the RX-7 lookalike. <laughs> Mason, smile! Lexani. The Aventador is about the most popular car at the show. Check out the Defi booth. With their 86 out in front. Clover turbos. Oh, 
the Kazama Auto S15. And their chaser. The 326 power cars over here, starting off with their R34. <laughs> S15 convertible. Seventy Z and the RC three fifty. The Ings Inspec eight six BRZ. The Eurus R thirty four GTR body on it. G Specials S15. Crazy paint job on it. Another S15 vert and a beautiful sword drift car. And the Rocky Auto Toyota. So that's going to do it for today at Tokyo Auto Salon. It was a short day today. We will be back tomorrow from 8 till 8. So we're going to be able to hit everything up tomorrow. We did hauls 4 through 8 today. We still have 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, and 11 to explore tomorrow. This is haul 3, 2, 1 right here. We will be back for you tomorrow. Out in the Tokyo Auto Salon parking lot. Look at that Lamborghini park job. That's awful. It was like 61 degrees when we walked in and now it's like 45 and I'm freezing out here. On the way home from dinner right now and of course we're gonna be car spotting on the way. Right now we're walking through a pretty quiet little Japanese suburb outside of Tokyo and we rented a Airbnb room for the night, for the next three nights. Airbnb is where you rent out somebody's house or apartment. So we have their whole apartment for the next three days and it's pretty crazy looking inside so i'm excited to show you all that check out this apartment it's a one room apartment but there is anime all over the walls the curtain and up on the ceiling there's a little kitchen over here bathroom over here mason's taking a bath and the front door Definitely not a big place, but it is awesome, and it was pretty cheap. I think it was around $45 a night. And it's about 40 minutes away from Tokyo and about 40 minutes away from the convention center where Tokyo Auto Salon is going on. I hope you guys enjoyed day one of Tokyo Auto Salon. Tomorrow's going to be the big day. I think it's open for 12 hours tomorrow. So we're going to be there for a long time, and we're going to get complete coverage on absolutely everything there. And then after Tokyo Auto Salon tomorrow is hopefully going to be the biggest car meet of the weekend. It is the Chronicles Night Meet. So I'll definitely be heading out to that after Tokyo Auto Salon and either including it in the video for day two 
or just making its own video if it's going to be big and epic enough. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching day one coverage. It is about 10 o'clock. We are tired. We woke up at 4 this morning to get on the plane. So we're going to crash and head out early for day two in the morning. Thank you all so much for the recent support, and thank you so much for following the Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat so you guys can keep up with what's going on up here while I'm here this weekend. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.